I think, you know, like, I was asked the question, something along with, can an animal take on an illness as a form of sacrifice for the owner? Uh, my, init my initial thoughts are that, okay, my initial, my thoughts on illness are if there is a huge amount, gener generally, if there's a huge amount of guilt and shame or a, a, a very negative energy within, uh, a, shall we say, a, a sentient uh, animal or person, that then pulls from the collective a corresponding belief system which is matching the vibration. <clears throat> So what does that mean? Like if I mention a lot of shame, uh, which is one of the worst vibrations, a lot of shame, meaning that I, you know, I don't deserve to live kind of thing, then I will attract, and I did, I attracted kidney failure in my case. You know, I'll attract a life-threatening illness, which is the manifestation of that vibration, you know, to, that I deserve death. And I'll pick up something from the collective, which is a correlation to the level of energy imbalance, vibrational imbalance, you know, so hatred, guilt, uh, shame. <coughs> so that, that, you know, it's like something will be picked up from the collective. I think my intuition is like the animal is more like if an animal loves its owner and sees the owner in distress, uh, it may then, um, uh, it, they may then, you know, um, it may then pick up, it may resonate at a low vibration in a f as a form of love, you know, or it may be trying to imbibe the negativity in its love, but it may also get its vibration lowered, and so it would uh, then pick up an illness that is divinely in correlation. So not, not in exactly the way the question was asked, but it is out of love that it, 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 it sort of its vibration dips. And the thing, the thing with like maintaining a high vibration, is that you do not pick up belief systems, so you become immune to illnesses. So, um, so if you're in the infinite now and you've developed a consciousness which is not to pick up labels and stories, uh, and not to believe in any limiting idea from the thing, from the collective consciousness, you start to get an immunity. You can be like an open channel of love, but the love is more from an infinite place. So we practice the observer in here, and also there is a maturity not to pick up labels and stories from the collective. So then you're able to be in the world and be a, like a, a like a, a vessel, if you say it's amusing words of love, but have an, a relative immunity not to pick up people's stories. <coughs> when you're more immature. Uh, in your consciousness development, um, you may you know, like you may have love for a parent, and and therefore, but you may not have that consciousness not to pick up stories or labels, and so that immunity is not there. So like like um, if your father has a cough, and is coughing, and you love them so much, you may suddenly find you have a cough, mm -hmm. you know. So that even though there's love for your father, and you're seeing he's distressed and he's coughing a lot and you're worried that he's coughing a lot but you're picking up he's coughing a lot and you love him and then suddenly you have a cough so that's not really you're not taking the cough off of him that's more like out of love you haven't yet got the spiritual maturity not to pick up the label and the story mm -hmm. so you now get imprinted with his le his story but it comes from a place of love but not what i call being in the infinite love, which has a maturity not to pick up the story, is to love without latching onto a story. So, you know, like if someone is suffering, I always think this of, you know, this is my personal view on Mother Teresa. You know, to be like, to have people with leprosy, to have things, to have all of this and not get pulled into the drama mm. and into the negativity of what's going on. Okay, this person hasn't got a foot this person has leprosy, this person is just about to die, this person just had their father run over by a car yesterday. For, for you to maintain that level of infinite love and not get dragged down into fear, guilt, shame, anger at the world, anger at what happened, will we'll need a very, very high level of spiritual transcendence of not, the world. Not getting infected. And not getting infected. Which is also, yeah. I mean, if you got, went to, that's a great thing. Like, if you went to a doctor, they'd say, like, put your gloves on, 
this person has leprosy, you've got a 75% chance if you keep meeting them every day. I mean, I, you know, when I go to the doctors, I have to say cancel in my head all the time. Cancel, you know, this statistic, that statistic. But to make, so that's a very, very high level of spiritual transcendence to, to love, but not get hooked into the story of what's going on and all the negative ideas, which is what I, you know, I choose to, you know, I choose enlightenment for my own lifetime. Uh, if it be God's will, which I should say, um, and um, which is to to stay in the infinite, but have that immunity not to pick up the stories that people are going, to love but not pick up your story, and to maintain a high vibration, to stay in the infinite, but not, you know, I don't want to be like, okay, my cat just got run over yesterday, I'm crying, and I don't want to be like crying as well with you. I might cry again with you, but... Uh, but then I would try and transcend, you know, like every time you say your cat died for me to go and have to take three weeks off to try and process that your cat died. It reminds me of when my cat died. And look, I can't really speak any longer because I'm tearing up because your cat died. So that's like, that's like less, for me then, you're not at that high vibration you can maintain. Like Mother Teresa, for me, can see all of that, like multiple traumas and stay at that level and not get hooked in. So for me, that's a higher level of sainthood than, you know, oh my God, you, you've hurt your thumb. I can't cope with this. I'll see you next week because it's just too much and overwhelming for me. So, so it's, a bit like, it's a bit like that. So for me, to another person, it might seem like that's very cold. You know, you should cry with them and, and, and cry along with them. That means you haven't got empathy. But I would say there's a different, there's a different aspect to it. Even though you think I should cry because you're crying and I should be, you know, disconnected because you're disconnected and show empathy in that way. I don't, I don't see it in that way. Um.